pleased with the horse. Um, we started um, quick. He, um, or he, I, we went a little bit bolder off the leap pit, covered the ground nicely, and um, the, the bank didn't slow him down. So I think we went two strides and a bit maybe there. But he's a very straight horse. We were going for the time, and um, so after that we just kept moving on, and he gave me a peach of a ride. He really did over everything. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed with myself coming down to the, um, the egg, the egg boxes, trying to prepare him to get him off his shoulder. He was quite tired, and he broke into trot right before the um, the hill. Gosh, this might not work out right. So quickly um, went to Plan B, which uh, cost us uh, a few extra seconds. But um, he galloped home really well. You know, he's he's a, he's a true five star. So, uh, so you did, we didn't see a lot on the screen that in the Rolex combination. There's kind of there's two choices: a really brave one and this one that doesn't take. A lot longer. Did the brave one every way. The, the only one we didn't do was the egg box, and I'm, it was a plan B because he dropped into trot. But um, the horse just operates. He just goes, and you know he, he could have taken strides out probably if I was a bit braver. You, you said at the end of the badminton course, you're like, oh, I've got more fuel here than I thought, so I need to need to push on. You, you feel you pushed on today? Yeah, I do. I do. The, the, you know, the downside to us like him, who, who he can gallop real good, but get stronger is the, the second part of the course after the egg box is downhill. So it's making sure you have enough brakes to respect respect the fences because uh, they don't get any smaller. But um, you know, we'll go and evaluate it when we get back to the truck. But it's uh, good to have a safe, sound horse back. All right, and boys, does he keep the ride on your horse? Yeah. yeah.